I get to talk to you guys and talk to you about my day or behind the scenes stuff. And these are so much fun. Hey guys, it's Mia here and welcome to another digital art journey video. Now this is going to be the final part to the painting I did a few days ago, but since it is a speed paint there are going to be a lot of flashing in it and there's going to be a lot of fast moving parts. So if that's something that bothers you, you can go ahead and leave now. I'd rather you be okay than watch a YouTube video. So without further ado, let's get into this. Now, this is one that I've actually painted painted. I just wanted to see if I could pull it off as a digital art painting. But before I get into the like part two of this video, I'm going in and like fixing up some of the stuff that I found I didn't like about the background. And now I'm starting in of the part two. So what I wanted this to be is like, you're looking at this back image through like space. And it's gonna be like you're looking at it through that so that's what I was doing and this was one of my favorite paintings that I've ever done and I gave it to a family member for Christmas and I really liked the painting so much so I thought it would be a lot of fun to go back and remake the painting as a digital drawing to see if I actually could although while I was doing this I found that there were things that were easier to do with actually painting it as opposed to doing it digitally like you see me right now trying to put in like the smoky whimsy background of the clouds and the in the space and i'm just using like a filter to do that and changing the colors and the sizing and the positions and the opacity and the brightness to try and see if it works and then once i get happy with that i start adding the stars in and once again, it's dots. Like I said, me and dots. Dots are a part of my artwork. They always have been. I don't know what it is about dots, but dots just seem to make everything seem a little bit better. And I, it's just something I've always done when I painted. I don't know why. I just do. Now, I did end up finding the picture I posted of the actual painting that I did so I might tack this on if that on at the end so you can compare the digital version to the original actually painted version I like them both honestly but I will say I like the painted version a lot better because I don't know that one was one of the best paintings I think I ever did I haven't painted in a while so that might change if I decide to paint again but I had so much fun doing these. I love doing the drawing videos and I love live streaming. Like I am live streaming Doki Doki Literature Club right now and let me tell you it got dark. <laughs> like I needed to take a minute and just figure it out. Like I was like I need to watch something happy or play a happy game after this one because my goodness I was trying but yes, live streaming is a lot of fun and I'm enjoying it. I was trying to put like an outline in there. I don't know why I was trying to do it with text. I just decided to go and do it manually because it was not turning out the way I expected it to. This painting is a lot of fun. I love like galaxy backgrounds and space backgrounds. They're, a lot of them are so pretty. But this one turned out so much fun. But yeah, in terms of live streaming, I really am enjoying it. Because it's so nice to just be able to set the recording and go and then be able to talk to you guys as I'm playing. That's so much fun to me and I really, really, really enjoy it. I can't wait to see how Doki Doki is going to end because my goodness, this game is getting intense and the creator of the game really knows how to mess with your head because it really gets to you. It's like one of the characters is talking to you personally because they know they're in a game and it's like, what did I walk into? What is happening? Because, oh my goodness. 
but it's so much fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> so, with this one, this outline took me forever. It looks like it didn't because I'd sped it up. This drawing didn't take me very long. It only took me like, I think, an hour and a half to do. And I was listening to, I don't know if anybody's ever watched him, but Scott Kramer here on YouTube. I was watching his videos in the background while I was doing this. And it was just chill. I didn't know what else I wanted to do today, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna draw. It's a good drawing day. I already went for a walk outside because for February, it has been gorgeous the past couple of days. Like, t-shirt kind of weather. Maybe, okay, maybe not t-shirt, but you don't need your winter coat on. And I'm like, when does that ever happen in February where I live? That never happens here. So, to this morning I went for a walk and just and then took my cat outside because it was far too nice to stay inside <laughs> i think i went for an hour walk and then came in gave my cat his snacks and then <laughs> started dancing to just dance it's been a, a good morning i was gonna read but i was like uh, the book the ebook i'm reading is very good but I'm feeling a little daunted by it because it's 73 chapters and the chapters are not small chapters. It is like so big <laughs> as a book and so I'm like I don't know if I want to like do that thing where I read an ebook while I read a, re a physical book but like oh 73 chapters has me like like, I'm already on chapter 3, and I only started it a couple days Did I say chapter 3? I'm already on chapter 23, and I only started it a couple of days ago. But, I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere, because normally when you get to, like, chapter 23, you have one or, one or two chapters left if you're not done. But 73? I feel like I haven't even made a dent! <laughs> I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere, and that's starting to make me be like, Oh, I don't know about reading this book. I don't know what it is about long books, but I get long book fatigue. So I was like, I could start One Dark Window because I have my eye on that. But I don't, I don't, I, I want to, I, I, I'm enjoying the audiobook, I'm, or not the other book, the ebook I'm reading. It's just so long. <laughs> and it, apparently it's only book three of a seven book series so i'm feeling a little daunted and i might just let myself read two books at the same time but that's not what we're watching we're watching a drawing video there's not much to say about my process because i feel like if i talk about my process these videos are going to be really repetitive so it's kind of nice to give you guys like a little glimpse into what i get up to in my day and just let you guys know what's going on and how I'm doing and as well as talk about my process because my process is pretty much the same for all of these. I turn on a podcast or music or a video in the background and then I just go. I have an idea in my head and I go. With this, the background was not looking like, like it meshed with the space background. So I was messing with the colors and the scaling and seeing if I can shift them to make them work better. I don't know why I slipped into British. I got tongue-tied and there we were, but okay. And then I'm going back through and touching up the mountains because compared to the space background, they're just not working right. I think it's the shadows, so I take them away. And then add some more dots because it was looking flat. I think because I put the actual clouds in, instead of like making my own cloud effect it made it look flat against the sky i think that might be what it is i could have put some more effort into the grass to make it pop a little more but i don't know it turns out a little better i don't know what happened there i accidentally took away the outline of the mountains and it was like oh no whoops take it back take it back fix it fix the crap but no, these videos are really chill. <laughs> these videos are so much fun. These videos and live streaming are probably 
my favorites on the channel. Like, don't get me wrong, I love talking about books. I love talking about books, but live streaming and this type of video just seems so chill. So much fun. Like, it's just go, you know? Like, live streaming is just go. You set it up and you go. You obviously have to make sure your equipment's working, but for the most part, you just set it up and you go. It's not, and then I get to talk to you guys and talk to you about my day or behind the scenes stuff, and these are so much fun. And I cannot wait to play Doki Doki again. I don't know how many episodes of that I have left, but I am here for the story because oh my goodness, that story is so crazy! Like, it's getting so crazy. Like, my friend Luke was watching in a Discord call with another friend, and he was like, I had to get up and get popcorn because this is getting juicy. And I'm like, You're telling me! <laughs> it's such a good game. Whoever made that game was like, Hold my beer. I'm gonna show you how a game is actually made. It was so good. It was so good. Such a good game. I cannot wait to see where the story is going. I'm, I'm loving live streaming and I'm loving these digital art journeys. Which, don't get me wrong, I know I'm not the best artist out there, but I'm not here to be the best artist. I'm just here to enjoy my time and bring you guys along for the ride. Like, if you guys enjoy these and they make your day a little better, that's all that matters. Like, really? All, that's all that matters. And we're coming up on the finished drawing here soon. I'm honestly really happy with it. I was once again trying to get it to blend with the background a little more. And just working on like making it look like the clouds have gone over the like dimension shift. That's what I named this. The original painting was called the dimension shift and this is the dimension shift kind of animated digital drawing. But I am so happy with this. Even though the mountains look a little bit wonky, all in all, it came out really cool. I was going to put some purple over it too, but that just made it look way too dark, so I took that out. And then, here's the finished drawing. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you next time.